Hey guys, <clears throat> beautiful day out here. I'm at Harris Lake Park. Trails are open, it's beautiful. Doing a lot of work on the trails. You might have heard me complain occasionally about how they're never open here. Looks like they're putting a huge effort into improving the trails and how they deal with water. It is right by a lake, it's around a lake basically. So, but anyway, I'm here with Jack today. And um, this is all about Jack today. So I've got the uh, Ripmo AF. I'm gonna kind of just show you guys here what we've got. Our Ripmo AF, he's a beauty. But one of my concerns has always been sort of this, this rear linkage here, and particularly this section right in here. I'm gonna show you from the top. And um, I've always been worried about, I don't worry about stuff getting in there. Now, I, this is, the AF is aluminum, obviously. So I'm not as concerned as I would really be concerned if I was on the carbon version of this. The same exact linkage setup. Everything's basically exactly the same. And there's a, there's a real good opportunity for rocks and stuff to get in there. And as your suspension is compressing and expanding again, um, stuff getting like crunched in there and crushing between your, your down tube here and this linkage. So what I did was, I'm gonna show you guys. This is what it would look like, just kind of open. And what I did is I created a little flap. It just sits super simple right in there. It's definitely, maybe not the prettiest thing, but the fact is um, I made this out of exactly the same material. You can barely see it probably even on here with the shadow, but um, I bought this 3M material. And I put it on certain spots I was worried about. I, I'm actually gonna put a, put a line across here and probably on both sides here and maybe across the side here as well. But um, it's underneath it's underneath here and it's uh, up here as well. So, and I also put it back here because I was concerned with rocks like just banging it. Well, rocks were getting in there. And um, you know, there's a lot of different substrate here. It's just a mixture of stuff, soft stuff, hard, harder stuff and different sizes and stuff was getting in there and uh, I had a couple of chinks. So I'm gonna show you guys how I I made this flap. It's been great. I had it on a couple days now. It looks really good. Um, it's holding tight. Uh, and probably I'm imagining about every probably two, three, four months, I'll change that flap out. Um, but the way I have it in there, it contours in there really nicely. It doesn't get bound up on the linkage at all. And I had another little piece you can kind of see right there that kind of holds it kind of in place. Works great. I'm thinking about putting maybe another little piece like right like maybe in here but as of yet i haven't had any issue with stuff getting down there this has been the bigger concern so anyway just kind of take a peek at this i'll show you guys how i'm doing that how i cut it out and how i applied it take a look at this and uh hope it helps take a look all right guys well i've got this 3m tape here you can kind of see this is uh one and a half probably measures two inches here and um, we're gonna cut this right now about nine to 10 inches. Nothing, doesn't have to be super, super precise at this point. A couple things I'm just gonna show you real quick. So stuff that's really easy to work with. I'm going with 10 inches here now, just kind of cut it. All right, so ultimately what we wanna simply do is wind up with something kind of looks like, kind of looks like this in the end. We'll, we'll make it, We'll get it all squared away in a second, but just kind of, this is ultimately kind of what you're going for. So just want to let you know, it don't take this back off. Don't take the backing off until the very last step. You're completely ready to put this in. Even that, I'm going to show you just kind of how I did it and formed it. So super simple, just kind of, so, so what you basically want to do is, um, on this one side here on the, we'll call this the bottom side. This is going to be the top side. Um, and we're going to fold this. We're gonna fold it in like this. This part here, we need to cut that pretty thin. That's gonna fit on the lower part of the seat, your seat stem, um, right between where the shock, the, uh, the not the shock, but the your pivot uh, mount is. So that's gonna slit right in there. So basically you just kinda of wanna, you can eye this up too. I mean, you don't have to be real precise, but if, if you, you know, you're a stickler for, you know, measurements and stuff, figure about, three inches or so. So five to eight, three inches right there. Just kind of want to cut that back. 
I'll give yourself a little mark there, a little mark about there. Cool. And then just kind of trim it. You can make it straight if you want. I kind of get into just giving a little curve there personally. That's cool. And again, this needs to be pretty narrow because it's going to fit between the linkage mount there. So that's it. And you can clean all this up. I'm kind of going a little quicker here just for the sake of the video, but basically kind of want to wind up with something kind of looks like this on the bottom. Same thing on the top because it's going to go on the tube. It, this stuff tends to kink a little bit. So what I did was I trimmed about a quarter ish ish inch off the sides here. Um, and then just tapered it up a little bit like that. Same thing over here, just kind of uh, take about a quarter of an inch-ish off the side here. And uh, again, this is about two-ish to three inches there. So super simple. This is basically what you're going to be working with right here. This is it. Here we go. So yeah, what do we have? About two and a half inches off the top and about three on the bottom. Again, don't take off the backing yet. <laughs> can't stress that enough um, you want to kind of get this in shape first so fold it over real simple like that and give it a good crease this is gonna be essentially what your piece looks like that you saw on the back of my bike I just showed you a couple minutes ago so there you go and that's it and all you're gonna do is slide this piece down into the housing between that housing for your linkage, and this is gonna go right on the seat post. So I'll kind of show you here in a second, I'll show you guys what this is gonna look like. And here we have it, and so there it is on mine. So you can kind of see, I've got this right up here. You can just kind of barely make it out right there. That's the top, and below it, you can kind of see right in there, can see in there um, I have you can kind of see the outline of it right there it's slipping right down in there so get that in there really good just flap this over it just stays that seems to be about the perfect little flap right there and holds it and I have this one little piece I wrapped around the bottom and it's kind of just just enough friction that just kind of stays in that spot there. It's not super pretty, but the fact is nobody's going to see it there and it's going to do its job. It's going to keep rocks and stuff out of your linkage, which is super important. And I'm, as I mentioned, I'm thinking about doing potentially another little uh, piece right in here, but I haven't had any problems in here at all. Like nothing doesn't seem to get in there. I don't know what it is about the sh maybe it's the shape, um, the angle there. I'm not really sure, but I don't really have any issues in here. You can see it's pretty clean in there. Um, so anyway, there you go. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. Super simple way to keep your jack or whoever your name is for your bike um, looking good and riding good. And, uh, and not getting unnecessarily damaged. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions or you see any of the products that you think would also solve this problem, please leave a comment with a link. We'd love to share this with people. Um, this product cost about, uh, I think it was like six bucks for a whole roll of it. So that right there cost about like 50 cents, maybe 25 cents. It's only about nine inches of it. And you saw how I folded it and applied it and also super easy to work with. Um, let me know, hit me up in the comments, please hit that share button and also subscribe. And why not share this with some friends and ask them to join us on our journey here of uh, mountain biking, the great North Carolina. Talk to you guys.